Crucial conversations drivers for effective leadership. The theme of the ongoing 76 United Nations General Assembly is restoring hope in a post-pandemic world. Extrapolates on the necessity of relevant conversations in global leadership. In order to promote leadership and governance, there is a need for a common ground for agreements between class, race, and tribe for effective leadership. Being able to bring up issues and finding sustainable solutions to enhance peace and productivity should be the core of, for excellent leadership. That is, where conversations play a huge role. For efficacy and delivery, there are five elements of effective conversations. We have dialogue, clarity of purpose, fact, zero sentiment, open-mindedness, and agreement. Outcome of these conversations are largely dependent on structures and intent of the parties involved. Leadership without effective conversation is bound to be chaotic and biased in its administration. There is a rising need to embrace inclusiveness, to promote progress, and to achieve these avenues for effective communication must be created. Despite its effectiveness, there are unending examples of field leadership which happened as a result of poor communication and zero dialogue. When leaders across the globe understand the role of conversations, play in a good... Com in, let me take it again, sorry. When leaders across the globe understand the role conversation play in good governance, then there will be a decline in failed delivery of quality leadership. Currently in Nigeria, there have been public outcry for the need of a national dialogue and possible referendum. This is evident from the Sorosuke saga to the need for constitutional review and to self-determination of nationals. These are no way different from the national reform confab under the Olusegun Obasanjo led administration, the rebrand Nigeria under the Musa Yaradua led administration, and the national conference under the Good luck, Jonathan led administration. As important as a national conversation is, it is also it also could amount to little or no positive effect if the following are not put into considerations. Inclusiveness. All stakeholders with respect to tribal affiliation, youths, women, industry experts, civil society organizations should participate. Empathy. Being intentional. No Nigerian is more Nigerian than any other Nigerian. Being intentional and about understanding the peculiarities of other different stakeholders, a democratic approach in decision making. It is important to note that the willingness of the government, citizens, and other stakeholders to take actions on agreed strategies or ideas during the course of a national dialogue is imperative for effective leadership and national development. Also, it is the collective responsibility of the government and all stakeholders to be willing for a continuous dialogue for effective leadership in different phases of a national development. Well, I feel like I just went to dialogue, school. Dialogue, <laughs> dialogue, the talk you know, about dialogue. You know, I kind of was like, oh, crucial conversations, leadership, and then my mind, you know, my mind was going in the space of what I, by the time I went, I said, oh, okay, it's going political. I'm going to let's kind of deal with that first. <laughs> so our political. Right. Yes. So if you want a political uh, uh, scrutiny, then you wait for Kule Lawa, but it's here today. <laughs> but you know, the, when, when you said um, crucial conversation, the... What came to mind was, can anybody engage you in a conversation if he doesn't know you? Or if he doesn't understand you, if you don't understand yourself? So I think when we want to even talk about conversation, first of all, mm. the thing is, what are we talking about? You know, a lot of people talk, but they are not communicating. Because you are saying A, you are saying B, and you are both off, and both of you are making good points. But you are just not in sync. And I think when it comes to conversation in politics, we need to, when you're talking and someone is not listening, you need to look for a way to get the person's attention. And that is what we are struggling to do as a people. I'm being very careful with words because of where I'm going. Now, <laughs> now what am I saying? In 
we've heard issues in Nigeria where people say, oh, if it was this tribe that spoke, you would have responded. Mm -hmm. For both uh, the government in power and even government out of power, we speak about the Niger Delta, we speak about the North. They have a way of demanding what they want mm -hmm. that is known to them. And every government, whether you are their tribesman or not, you respect that about them. So as a people, if you want to hear from our government, and we want them to do what we want. We must look for that key, that conversation key, the key to that conversation room that we can open and close at every time. It doesn't, not necessarily violence, mm -hmm. but we must look for something. And one of the easiest ways is to get the right people in power. Because if you participate, and he knows that if I don't do the right thing, he will easily call me back, then you'll have his ears. But that takes the assumption that the system is set up where they work for the populace, right? Rather than they think we as a populace owe them. You know, they don't understand that those, the, the whole political standing are mm. actually no. our, they work for us. No, before you go far, you, in a way they are right. They don't work for us. You know why? Because we expect, for example, our local government chairman to spend so much on us before he even gets into power. We take so much from everybody. I mean, someone was telling me just yesterday about a king. Someone has been made a king, and he has spent tens of millions of naira before he could become a king. Mm. Wow. And now there is even the, his kingship is being challenged mm -hmm. because another family says his judge is right and blah blah blah. So I asked the person. I said, okay. Then later we'll say the kings are kotoing to government. The money is spent in becoming a king. Do you think you let that go? Mm -hmm. He needs to look for the money. Who did he give the money to? Some mm. of us. So as much, and that's what we're talking mm. about conversation, no matter what you say, guy, I pay it's you. It's money. <laughs> I paid you. Or phone I card. I paid your leaders. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> that's so short-sighted. so short-sighted. That's, uh, that's quite, before you, before you. But which came first? It's a chicken and egg thing. That's oh. true. <laughs> that's, 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 that's conversation. No, which is, the conversation which is, the, which is the egg. Uh, well, that was, <laughs> okay. Actually, um, there's what we call clarity and empathy in conversation. Mm. You know, I'm not going to s repeat or reiterate what one of our elder statesmen in Nigeria mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. that is causing a public uproar <laughs> as regards the 2023 election. So how can we as leaders or young persons or as a nation encourage empathic and open-minded conversation? I think, um, let me, Joyce will be in a very good position to yeah, speak as, you know, as a communication <laughs> expert. <laughs> Thank you. The word is empathic, yes where we care about what the other person thinks, feels, and we can try to see things from their point of view. Until we get there, leadership in itself will not be effective. I am partisan, I belong to a political party, but I don't believe in opposition. You know why? The word in itself is divisive. The moment I come to you and I say I am opposing you, guess what? It's difficult for you to listen to me because I have created conscious resistance. So I would rather speak to you with empathy, knowing that we want the same thing, a better nation, a better country, better processes. So the question goes back to what is your intention, which you mentioned in your advocacy. What is the intention of the communication in the first place? What is the intention of the leadership? Is it to just fulfill a long time or long term dream of achieving a political office or to actually bring healing to the land? Intention, in my opinion, is all. When the intention is right, we will find ways to make it happen effectively. When the intention is wrong, everything will go bad. Mm -hmm. I think intentions of many leaders mm -hmm. questionable. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, that's, that's a very that's powerful So depressing. One. Yeah, you were. <laughs> Honestly. Asked, what's the intention of the person mm -hmm. even who wants a leader? Is it because the person is your client's man? Is it person, person can, you. you can have access to the person? So yes, intention, intention of all of us, the ways. followership it's, of leadership, ah, all of wow, us. Wow, What's wow. our intention? <laughs> Why do we vote? Why don't we vote? Why intention. don't we vote? That's it. Anton, you have something to say? Well, <laughs> I, I, I really do think that for me on this one, I have very, I, what I would simply say is that it is true. We do need to have crucial conversations to really drive effective leadership in Nigeria. We mm. need help. We need to be able to have those conversations in corridors of power, and we need to have people who have the wherewithal to be able to discuss and bring solutions or ideas to the table. And so maybe we're already starting that by having this kind of advocacy coming up, and then hopefully 
they're going to listen and we're going to have change mm -hmm. right thank you very much um it's important we have conversations inspired and you know, inspired um solution driven conversations empathic for national development mm -hmm. that would dear also collective peace unity and growth up next we're having to here to wrap up the show